Motor Week is made possible by Tire Rack. Your host for Motor Week 91, John Davis. Well, hello and welcome again to Motor Week 91. We're glad to have you with us. After several years in limbo, thanks to safety concerns, convertibles have again become quite popular. Everyone from Ford to Infiniti now has at least one on the market. A model that's in demand is Chevrolet's Camaro convertible. It's built on the F-body platform, which also forms the basis for the Pontiac Firebird. But up until now, Pontiac didn't have an F-body ragtop of its own. All that changes for 91 with the introduction of the Firebird convertible. It promises a combination of wind in the hair excitement and classic American muscle car fun. Let's see how well it delivers. Our Pontiac Trans Am convertible test rig certainly delivers in the looks department. It has that classic Boulevard Cruiser appeal a drop-dead ragtop that's sure to fire up the hormones in any adolescent or just someone who wants to relive their teenage years. It's the first Firebird-based convertible in over two decades, and while built on GM's F-body muscle car platform, it's hardly the same ragtop that Pontiac built in the 60s. It only took one drive for us to discover its most infatuating trait, an almost total lack of convertible body flex. Pontiac and ASC engineers have done such a good job of reinforcing the Firebird chassis that we could detect hardly any structural difference between our Trans Am convertible and the hardtop Firebird GTA that we tested last year. The quality of our Trans Am convertible's chassis stiffness really comes home when the car is pushed hard. And that we did on the two-mile road course at Memphis International Motorsports Park. It exhibits all the usual F-body characteristics, such as mild front push and quick power steering that gives plenty of road feel. Our car was equipped with the optional WS6 sports suspension package. Get hard on the throttle in a corner and the tail breaks loose easily, but it's in a smooth, predictable manner. The extra chassis stiffness also eliminates the heavy tire scrub that afflicts so many convertible conversions, making this Trans Am the tightest handling four-passenger ragtop around. Take that, Tokyo. Of course, the stiff chassis and firm Trans Am suspension means that you still have to suffer that familiar F-body pounding whenever the highway turns bumpy. A kidney belt might be a nice piece of standard equipment. But over more normal surfaces, it takes a wide expansion joint to produce uncomfortable vibrations. Trans Am convertible power comes from a 5-liter V8 engine that makes 205 horsepower and 285 pound-feet of torque. The more restrained Firebird convertible gets by with a 140 horsepower 3.1 liter V6, the same engine that powers most Grand Prix. The V6 is mated to an automatic. Our car's V8 feeds through a 5-speed manual. The shifter feels a bit notchy, but has a very American long, accurate action. The clutch is one of the most progressive units that GM has ever given us, but the poor pedal position, hung too far up the firewall, makes it very tough to operate smoothly. A four-speed automatic is also available. Finally, our Trans Am's horses reach the street through 16-inch alloy wheels. The WS6 package trades 60 series rubber for extra sticky Goodyear ZR50 Eagles. The combination of all the above makes zero to 60 times of 7.8 seconds and a quarter mile time of 16.2 seconds at 86 miles per hour. The Trans Am convertible adds only 100 pounds of weight over a comparable coupe. The 5-liter V8 has substantial torque, yet revs faster than many other engines of its type. Power delivery is generally flat, though it does tend to peter out quickly as the engine approaches redline. Braking for the convertible is done by vented disc up front and drums in the rear, proof that this car is no spring chicken. They stop the car from 60 and 120 feet. There was some right front lockup, but it was controllable. More importantly, the brakes held up to hot Memphis laps too many to mention. Now we've covered all the robust technical bits, so let's look more closely at the most obvious reason for our Trans Am test. The shape of the convertible top is low and unobtrusive. It's available in black or beige. The backlight is plastic and thus doesn't contain a defroster. The top is manually operated, but is very easy to use. Once the front latches are released, you flip up the rear of the top and then fold the whole structure down. Close the hard plastic tonneau cover, and you're ready to drive away. 
Raising the top is equally trouble free. The current Firebird cockpit has never been a sterling example of automobile ergonomics and the loss of its top hasn't changed that. It is however quite roomy for its type and even tall drivers fit comfortably with the top up. The spread out dash arrangement with its long row of gauges is the feature most in need of redress. But the gauge faces themselves when you can scan them are large. The Trans Am front bucket seats are well padded but tend to be a bit flat by sport seat standards. They do, however, offer plenty of back and thigh support. The optional leather on our car was soft and looked like it would take the sun well. The heat and ventilation controls do fall easily to hand and are well marked, as is the standard AM FM cassette stereo. An in-dash CD player is optional. While we said the Firebird and Trans Am are four seat convertibles, you'd better be tiny to try the back seat for more than a few miles. However, it does provide rear shoulder belts, as well as a good place to drop in grocery bags. Traditional trunk space is acceptable for a convertible. You can easily fit several overnight bags back here, but liftover is high. The Pontiac Trans Am convertible has a base price of $22,980. With options, our test car came to $24,589. The V6 Firebird version trims over three grand off the Trans Am's base price beginning at $19,628, and that includes most of the Trans Am's body panel add-ons. The base Ford Mustang convertible costs less, but has a four-cylinder engine standard. A V8 is optional. It's also not as structurally stiff as the Firebird, nor does it handle as well. It does offer a better organized interior and a glass rear window. The rear of a Pontiac Firebird or Firebird Trans Am convertible is the part that most other car owners are likely to see. It leads the convertible pack when it comes to muscular performance, and it also helps that Pontiac kept a reasonable lid on prices. It indeed may be a bit adolescent for the people who desire it most, but then with a car like this, turning back the clock will be loads of fun.